This episode is brought to you by Dr. T's Primary Care for Men. Get back your pride. Call them 956 441 2188. What about you, Fish? What is uh, the horror movie that scared you the most? I don't even watch horror movies because I am the biggest chicken you will ever meet. <laughs> Same. I change the channel on, the, on when they like a scary movie trailer comes on. Um, but definitely the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The original one? Yeah, man. Oh. From the seventies or sixties? Well, yeah, the real old one. Yeah. Where, like he's every it's just it's just I don't know. Like ever since then, like it's just creeped me out. Like I don't know. Like, he, that movie scared me a lot. The the new ones that came out, they, they didn't have the same old feel. I remember when uh me and Rally were riding the Harley through the hill country and uh I was listening to old Hank Williams music on my motorcycle, and let me see if I can. Uh, if I can. But you know what, like, creeps me out about that movie is that they're like normal people. Like, they're not normal, obviously, but they're just regular people, mm -hmm. and they just have this guy who this. Well, supposedly he was, he was, um, like, kind of sick, right, or something, mm -hmm. and they kind of like brainwash, not brainwash him, but they kind of encouraged him to go kill people, and then they would eat them. Well, the one that I saw. And the guy had a mask made out of skin from yeah, one of, yeah. And so And like when you go to the country roads now, it's like you think about that and you're just like, man, anybody can just come and So we're me and Rally were riding the Harley in the dark through the hill country on the way to uh Camp Wood. <laughs> and I had this music on the motorcycle. Child. <laughs> You should have seen Rally's eyes. Change it. Scary. Change it. Change it. It was scary. This is what happened. Because this is what happened. Look. So we tell them the story, babe? Sure. Yeah. We were going to Camp Wood in the middle of the Texas Hill Country. It's a little town, right? And so we stopped in Lakey, Texas, you know, which is about 25 miles from Camp Wood. Because you get to Lakey and then you take this road that's nothing but the edge of hills. And, you know, we're doing good time. So I stopped at a store and I walked in and I, you know, paid for some gas. And I, the lady says, hey, where are you all going? I said, oh, we're going to Camp Wood. We got a cottage there, me and my wife. And I said, you okay. let them know where you were going? <laughs> well, yeah. I told the store lady, right? Great, so we can go kill you later. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, check this out. Steal that motorcycle. <laughs> and this music was on in the store. So, hey, this is a horror movie, oh man. I'm serious. So then I get I get out and I walk to the motorcycle and these three men walk out. A white dude, a Mexican, and a black dude, right? Hispanic, right? And they're all oily and stuff. You know, they've been working out. And the white guy says, hey, man, I heard you're heading out of Camp Wood. Oh, my God. And I looked at him. I'm putting gas. I'm like, uh, Yeah. And he goes, well, what the hell are you going to go do in Camp Wood? There ain't shit to do there, man. And I looked at Rally, and I looked at him, and I looked at Rally, and I looked at him, and I said, I think I can find something to do in Camp Wood, bro. <laughs> well, what are you going to eat in Camp Wood? If you haven't eaten, you ain't going to eat, because they ain't eat shit to eat in Camp Wood, man. And well, on my motorcycle, I had sandwiches. You know, I carry stuff. You know what I mean? So I said, hey, don't worry, man. We're fine. So they go to their truck. You know, it's an old work truck. And I'm sitting on the motorcycle at this point, and I'm just listening and watching him disclose all this information. I'm like practically shitting in my pants. Third, third cabin on the left, man. <laughs> and this song was on. Dude, that's straight from a scary Take movie. My it was the scariest shit ever. It was so bad. About to pull up around 10 o'clock. <laughs> So, so then, but it was weird because he would say, what are you going to do up in Camp Wood? There ain't shit to do up in Camp Wood. And then the guy behind him would go, yeah. <laughs> you know? And he was like missing an eye and yeah. like shit. <laughs> Just like and he goes, well, I hope you ain't hungry because there ain't shit to eat in Camp Wood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so then the guys get into the truck, right? And they take off and I get in the, on the bike and Rally's behind me and she, Puts her stomach, her hands around my stomach, right? And she goes, who are they? I have no freaking idea. Well, good. Now they know where they can go kill us. <laughs> no, I said, now they know where to go murder us. Yeah, yeah, now they know where they can go murder us. And then I was like, 
más, we're like, hambre, ¿qué tienes? And then I turn around. <laughs> Oh and so, goodness. so then we took off, and my friend Bobby yeah. and Deborah, yeah. his wife, Butterfly, they were in San Antonio. They're writers, and they said, "Hey, when you get to you know Camp Wood, call us up, and we'll head on over to bikes over there, and we'll you know hang out." I said, "Okay." So I thought to myself, "Yeah, well, Camp Wood, low lot of bikes. Have to be near No, no. No, no. I mean, unos murderers, carnal. Yeah. <laughs> so then we get to Catwood and I get my cell phone, right? It is the first store. It's a little town, right? And I get the cell phone. No service. Oh my God. And you see the truck parked there. That's how it starts. <laughs> the same truck. What are you going to do? You ain't got no service now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then I tell Rally, Rally, dame tu teléfono. Dame tu teléfono. Okay, okay. I don't have any service either. At that time, we had like Pocket or something cheap like that. That Pocket <laughs> company. And so I was like, holy shit. Sale pal pinche cabin. So we took off right to that little cottage. It wasn't a cabin. It was a cottage. And we get there and the lady says, she's waiting for us. Right? Are you the tenants that are going to be staying here? Let me borrow your phone, ma'am. <laughs> oh, we, we have ha a landline. We have a landline. I said, okay, where is it? But you can't call long distance. And at this point, at this point, I'm like, everything is going wrong. Like this is this is nuts. Like we're we're dead. Miguel Ramirez puts their wrong turn at the yes, movie. Man. Oh my god! It was so terrible. then I said, Chingao, let's go get a. You know, it says, the only way you can call long distance is with a card, the phone cards. Remember the phone cards. So I told Riley, we'll be right back, man. We went to the store right there. One of two little stores that mom and pops there at Camp Wood. None of them had phone cards. They said, we don't sell phone cards in what Camp Wood. What's a phone card? And are your sorrow What's a phone? So then. <laughs> I just holler. <laughs> we do smoke signals around here. So then. So then we take off. I said, no, sabes que vamos para el pinche truck stop allá en Lake y ahí deben de tener phone cards a la chingada uno ahorita porque va a haber pedo. So then we take off, right? We take off to the, to Lakey. Oh, I like Lakey. Lakey's nice. Yeah, Lakey's nice. So there's like this truck stop there. It's like a, a big store, right? So we get there and we walk in. There's two phone cards left. At the very bottom of the display. Yeah. <laughs> I get, I got them. I got them. I got them. Let's go. Let's go. So then we, we get we get on the bike and we take off and it's already dark. It's about nine at night. Oh my god. So we have to go through the little road from Lakey to Camp Wood, which is nothing but a desolate I mean, describe that road, babe. Um, it was no guardrails around the mountain. I mean it's a big old hill, but to me they're mountains. So we're going around the yes. hill and um, no guardrails. Deer. Deer. It was a freaking full moon. And I'm like, this is this is nuts. I was so freaking scared. I felt like chills. Like I just felt someone touching my back. It was it was the worst. It was the worst. And then it you was, just it, heard like the chainsaw. Hey, I, know, it I was, was just. And there was no. not a single. So the thing is that from Lakey to Camp Wood. It's what, like 20 miles, babe? Yeah. It's, it's like 20 miles, but yeah. you have to drive 10 to 15 miles per hour for those 20 miles yeah. because it's all windy roads. It's curves. Like curves around and around the hills and whatever. So, um, yeah, it was pretty scary. <laughs> Deer, I mean, it was it was the worst. And I was, was right. I was riding the Harley, right? And I was telling her. Man, it's so beautiful at night. I never really realized how beautiful it is. He was trying to be it. optimistic, but I'm like, you need to stop because you know you're scared as well. And he's just trying to make me feel better. But he's like, he was all cut out too. And then this 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 song is on the system of the Harley, right? And at this point, I'm already crying, like holding him. I'm like crying, like just please God, just let us get there, like in five minutes, please. So then she goes, <laughs> I go, what's wrong? Can you please take off that Texas Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre music off? Oh, my God. 